This is part two of our flight using a tower and route control tech route from Palomar to Fullerton in Southern California. Check out part one here where we left off just as we leveled off at our cruise of 4,000 feet, approaching the Oceanside VOR to join the tech route, the Victor 23 airway. When we pass over the VOR, the flag flips from to to from, and we're gonna fly outbound along the airway radial, which is 301, and twist the OBS to set that into our VOR1. This will start taking us up the coast, which we can't see anyway under that layer. November 8, Foxtrot Tango, contact SoCal on 124.1. 124.1, 8 Foxtrot Tango. There are a lot of different sectors within SoCal's airspace, so as we move through it, we'll be handed off a number of times. SoCal approach, Skyhawk 518 Foxtrot Tango, 4000. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, SoCal approach, Oceanside Altimeter 3004. We're going to want to pick up the ATIS at Fullerton, so we read that off the chart, 125.05, and set it on COM2 active. It's reporting runway 6 is in use, a rarity as most airports around here almost always use west operations. The ceiling is still at 1,000 feet, and Charlie is current. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, say approach request at Fullerton. We definitely can't do a visual with this ceiling, and looking at the approaches in ForeFlight, it looks like the only one that'll get us into runway 6 is the VOR Alpha. We'll do the VOR Alpha into Fullerton, 518 Foxtrot Tango. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, you can expect that. So we'll pull it up and brief it. There are two initial approach fixes, ALBAS, which we need GPS to identify, and the Seal Beach VOR. Using the VOR as the initial, we'd have to fly outbound and do the procedure turn to get established on the approach course. There's another option though, which is more likely in this complicated airspace, which is that we get radar vectors to final. We have DME on board, which is how we'll identify both the B-Walt intersection and the missed approach point. Being able to identify B-Walt allows us to use 760 as our minimum descent altitude, which should be low enough to get below the layer. This is a circling only approach. The airport diagram shows that the approach course puts us on a, like a dogleg right base for runway six. So we'll have to be ready to break off and enter the pattern like that. We'll brief the rest of the approach as normal as we continue. We're gonna be watching the DME as well as the VOR2 for an indication of passing the Dana intersection. Just a little bit past that, at 23 DME, we'll be at the halfway point of the airway and should switch from tracking outbound from the ocean side VOR to tracking inbound along the 120 radial to the Seal Beach VOR. The halfway point is calculated off the total segment length shown in the box here as 46 miles. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, turn right heading 330 vectors for the approach. Right to 330, 518 Foxtrot Tango. So as we suspected, we're getting vectors to the final approach course. This being busy airspace, we're not exactly sure yet where those vectors will take us, but the controllers have a plan. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, turn left heading 250. Left to 250, 518 Foxtrot Tango. So it looks like we're gonna be taken right over the top of John Wayne Airport. As we approach, we'll get another handoff. November 8 Foxtrot Tango, contact SoCal on 125.35. 125.35, 8 Foxtrot Tango. This is our final controller as shown on the approach plate, so we can also set up tower on COM1 standby 119.1. SoCal approach, Skyhawk 518 Foxtrot Tango, 4000, assigned heading 250, information Charlie. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, SoCal approach, Fullerton altimeter 3004. So we're flying this westerly heading getting set up for the final approach course. This heading takes us through the airway of our filed route, which you can see as the needle slides through center and off to the right. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, turn right, heading 290. 290, 518 Foxtrot Tango. We're on a base leg now to the final approach course is 020. So let's set that up on the VOR. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, descend and maintain 2600. Descend and maintain 2600, 518 Foxtrot Tango. As we make our way down to 2600, what we expect to happen is to be given a vector to intercept the approach course, so like a right turn to 350, and then be cleared for the approach. The needle's coming in though, and it seems like we're gonna overshoot. The controller's busy, and it never hurts to ask what's going on. So Cal 518 Foxtrot Tango, are we still okay on the 290 heading? We're approaching final. 518 Foxtrot Tango, turn right heading 050 to re-intercept your four miles from Seal Beach, cleared VOR Alpha approach. 
Turn right heading 050, cleared VOR Alpha, 518 Foshra Tango. So a bit messy, but it does happen like this sometimes. It's not cause for panic. The controller is handling heavy iron out of LAX and other big airports. And the reality is ATC can allow you to overshoot final since you're slower and lighter, even if it's not ideal. We re-intercept and when passing Seal Beach, the flag flips and we can get configured for the approach. November 518 Foshra Tango, contact Fullerton Tower. Contact Tower 518 Foshra Tango. We flip over to Tower, which we put in COM1 standby, and now we can put Ground on standby. Fullerton Tower, Skyhawk 518 Foshra Tango, VOR Alpha. November 518 Foshra Tango, Fullerton Tower, circle west of the field to enter a right base for runway 6. Runway 6, clear to land. Circle west for right base for runway 6, clear to land. 518 Foshra Tango. We're going down to 1500 where we'll stay until reaching b 3.7 DME. After passing there, we can descend to just above the MDA of 760. When we spot the runway, we break off from the approach course and enter a right base, making our landing as normal. We'll exit left and be switched over to ground for our taxi into the hangars, completing a short but action-packed IFR flight using SoCal's famous tech routes. Try it out for yourself next time you're on the coast and check out the rest of our training courses at the Flight Insight website linked here and in the description.